Hey, uh, Max. Yes. We, uh, we, we were hoodwinked. In the words of internet memers, we were jebated. <laughs> I haven't heard that one before, but on the other hand, I'm usually late to the party in memes. Mm -hmm. So, right at the top here, we need to go over something. Um, Y'all remember that red vehicle that we spent a half hour at least talking about? We tore yep. into this thing. Those are not eyes, except they are, and it's got teeth on the front bumper. Bad sports car. It's, it's a sports car. It is a sports car. Well, just because we didn't know better at the time, if we had only looked at the bottom left corner of the picture, we would have said the, seen the word movie. Yes. It turns out that this red vehicle is, in fact, a movie-exclusive repaint. Yes. Because they're, they're doing... Reason. Yeah, well, what they're doing is, and, and, and that I'm for, for the last four or five years now, uh, when there's been a crossover movie in Super Sentai, um, you've also seen, which is usually towards the end of the year or whatever it is, or when when filming for the new series is just about to start happening, um, the next incoming team will make a cameo in the movie, in the crossover movie. So you'll actually have three different generations of rangers or three series worth of rangers appearing on screen at almost the same time. Now, I've never seen any of those crossover movies just because I haven't seen most of the series associated with them. But for uh, Lupin versus Pat versus... Oh, shoot, what's that called? Uh, 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 Ryu, Ryu Soldier. Soldier. Yeah, yeah, Ryu Soldier. There's going to be a cameo by the Kira Major. Now, the, the, the movie is already, I think it's already come out or it's already been filmed or something like that. Uh, but the interesting thing about these cameos, these cameo previews or whatever it is, is it's, it, it's just a cameo. It's just an Easter egg. It's a teaser. It's not foundation of the characters. It's not, this is who the characters are and this is what the series is going to be about. Because it's still about, the, the crossover is still about the current teams, but it's not about the upcoming team it's just a quick cameo it's a quick easter egg hi we're here yeah. check out our new tv series in a couple of months blah 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 then that's the end of it my nose is itchy <sighs> okay so but kira major and, and please correct me if i'm wrong on this max kira major seems to be doing something different where the origin doing of something the team, very different they're doing something very different um, and I want to say that Power Rangers did something similar. Okay, yeah. If 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 you have forgotten Turbo, a Power Rangers movie, or is it a Power Rangers adventure? I don't care which. The origins of the Turbo powers happen in the the big screen movie, not the TV series, not the pilot episode. Yeah. So in order to find out where the Turbo powers came from in Power Rangers Turbo the series, you had to watch the movie first. Because the movie explains all those things. It explains where Diva Talks comes from. It explains from, uh, oh, not 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 the Legend of Zelda villain villain, but uh, oh, what was Larigo? Larry Larigo. Yeah. It explains where he comes from. It explains where the Turbo Powers come from. It explains where Justin comes from, and it explains why Rock, uh, Rocky. Uh, yeah, it explains why Rocky is not the new Blue Ranger. So, yeah. if you were to go into Power Rangers Turbo, which please don't. Um, the first episode doesn't explain any of those things. It just picks up right where the, the movie left off. So it would appear Kira Major is going to be doing exactly the same thing. There's yes, going to with be a Kira movie. Major episode zero. Yeah. It's going to be a movie, and you have to watch the movie on the big screen in a theater in order to understand how the TV series is going to be kicking off. So, And it will be booked as a double feature with the, uh, was it the Rear Soldier, Lupin Ranger versus Pato Ranger movie? Uh, so, so in addition to the crossover, you're also going to have episode zero right after it? Uh, I don't maybe. know. Like, I only saw maybe, the headlines. Maybe. I, I heard the headlines and the stuff was all listing it as, gonna, as it going to be a double feature. So maybe it won't, they won't have the cameo in the crossover movie, and it'll just be episode zero right after. I don't know. Hmm. Okay. 
So in any event, um, yeah, so it's, it's going to be weird for us English-speaking audiences or anybody outside of Japan who's dependent on subtitles because we're going to have to wait for the movie to come out on DVD in Japan before we can actually get subtitled versions of that. So for yeah. us, the first episode of Kira Major is going to be disorienting in addition to being a pilot episode. So be sure to, to be aware that they're, they're playing things a little differently there. But anyways, uh, the reason I bring that up is because of this red vehicle, which is over here to my left, which is invisibly over here to my left, which I have to put in post-editing or post-production. Um, this is a regular vehicle that, that's going to be used by the Kira Major, but it's been repainted for, uh, for, for the movie exclusive. And the reason we know this is because a couple of weeks after... Um, or yeah, it was, it was a week or so after the movie, or yeah, right after Max and I discussed the whatever it is, this teaser poster showed up, and mm -hmm. Max, fucking red fire truck with a giant cannon sitting on the top. Yep, you're right. That that that's a fire truck. Like, how long did we? We went on for about a half hour, forty five minutes. It's like, well, it's red car. What the hell is that thing? Well, it's a car yeah. carrier. It's a tank. It's anything except a red fire truck. And it made no sense. And then, sense of course, whatsoever. since we were all debated, and that the green vehicle wasn't actually the the sports car wasn't actually for red. Of course, it's a fire truck. Mm hmm. Yeah. I mean, red just makes the most amount of sense. So. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and, and, and it also, if you looked at the glyphs, I'm gonna have to. I don't have the glyphs in front of me, so just take a look at the picture over there. Um, if you look at the glyphs on the Kirame Changer, if, if that's what it's called, yeah, I think it's called the yeah. Kirame Changer. Um, if you look at the glyphs on there, the fire truck is indeed the largest of the vehicles, which we mm -hmm. kind of knew at the time. But it's like it's not a fire truck; it's a tank; it's a car carrier; it's anything. It's a except. crane. It's something. It's a crane. Yeah. So we're gonna have a backhoe and a crane at the same time. So, but. Now, when, when that picture was revealed, I started getting it in my head. I was looking at the different vehicles that we have here, and with and, and Max and I have not talked about this part, so this is going to be new for him. Uh, new. But Max, when I looked at when 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 it was announced that it was indeed a red fire truck, um, I then and and saw all of these pictures. You know, the fire truck is so big compared to a jet, compared to a helicopter. Maybe not in reality, but in Super Sentai world uh fire trucks are usually larger than air vehicles usually yeah um what's interesting to me is considering the selection of vehicles that we have here and 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 the callbacks to previous sentais and we have to pursue precious gems now more than ever and this is this is before I've seen any of the stuff that popped up today today or read any of the spoilers regarding storyline or anything. I'm getting now I'm getting more than ever a Bokinger feeling off of this series. That the the fire truck is going to be front and center. It's going to be the biggest bug because part because a, a race car is not very big, a helicopter is not very big, a jet is not very big. Again, in Super Sentai, these vehicles are not very big, but in reality, it's different. But in Super Sentai, it's different. A car can be small, a jet can be small, a helicopter small, um, uh, an excavator is also small. And the last time that happened, that, that I can think of off the top of my head, where we had a really, really big, big mecha and then kind of surrounded by a bunch of other ones would be a uh, Bokinger was the die Boken because you had the race car on the front. You had, or um, no, you had uh, go, go formula on the front. You had go, go gyro on the back, go, go dozer for the uh, right arm. Is that right? Yeah. Go, go dozer for the right yeah. arm and then go, go Marine diver for the left arm. And so just, I, I, I think this is going to be another, like, I'm I'm now more convinced than ever they're going to be looking for gems and there's going to be you know high adventure and they're also doing homages to previous uh, Super Sentai helmet designs at least that I'm thinking this is more of a Bokinger thing this the, like this is so this smells of anniversary this smells of 45th anniversary but it's coming on the 44th anniversary it's 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 an off it's an off anniversary series that seems to have a lot of homages and so. Before going into any of the spoilers or anything, I just feel like this is a second crack at Bokinger. Is could be. 
Max, I don't remember if you saw Bokinger or not. I, I saw uh, it. I did not. I know the concept behind it, but I didn't see it. Mm -hmm. the I haven't watched a lot of Sentai series. The only Sentai series that I think I've watched all the way through is Shinkenger, I want to say. Hmm. I think that's the only one I've seen from start to finish. I, I've started a bunch of Sentai series. I know about the stories and the themes behind a lot of shows, but I just haven't sat down and watched all of them yet. Mm. So yeah, um, I'm I'm I mean I'm getting a Daiboken vibe off of this thing. Maybe not the same vehicles as before, but considering the mishmash of just a generic jet fighter, a helicopter, a backhoe, a fire truck, and a race car, it it, it smells like Daiboken so much. I have Daiboken. I didn't even think of bringing it out for so I could show this off, but I've got a picture over there. So. And, and, and by the way, uh, Kira Mae Green, I don't think, just, just, just to settle this argument once from all, Kira Mae Green, I do, I mean, in light of the fact that we know that Kira Mae Green is now going to be using the vehicle, I am convinced more than ever that Kira Mae Green's helmet is not an homage to uh, Cocker Ranger, but rather it's an homage to Bokinger. Just the way, the, the shape of the visor, I think it's, I think it's a Bokinger helmet. Possibly? You take a look at the Bokinger helmets again. Because they well, have a band. On. Yeah, and then you'll notice that the, the black visor stops, and then there's a little bit more of the, the visor kind of sticks out near the ears or whatever, or you know, kind of closer to where the ears are. So if you if you have any way, you could look at a Bokinger helmet on the side. Yeah, profile. yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at them. Uh, yeah, I do kind of see what you're saying. Hmm. I, I, I think it's a Bokinger helmet. And really, the only difference in the Bokinger helmets is the faceplate is, or the, the, I'm sorry, the mouth plate is a little different. Yeah. That's the, that's the distinction between them. But they also have those lights across the across the forehead, across the side of the forehead. They do. So, um, yeah, I think I, I it, it feels like they're doing a they're doing a second attempt. Not not because Bokinger was bad. On the contrary, Bokinger was good. Uh, yeah, Bokinger was was good for the most part, but it feels like okay, Bokinger was successful. Let's just do it again, but let's change it up enough that you can't call it a direct sequel or anything like that. So we're going to have gems or precious jewels, and we're going to have you know stuff like that. It also seems that the uh, wow, now I want to say Bokinger so much. It seems like the Karamazer don't have unique weapons. It's 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 a it's a Gokaiger thing where the the individual uh, the pistols and the swords are are their weapons, and then depending on which ranger yep. using which one, that's the individual weapons. So, but on the other hand, uh, I suppose an excuse could be made for Gokaiger in that. Uh, they uh, they were they were changing. They were doing a Gokai change so much that then they had individual weapons. But in terms of uh, or Legend Sentai, that's the word Legend Sentai. The Legend Sentai they were using those individual weapons. So, uh, but yeah, I'm I'm getting more and more of a Bokinger vibe off of this. And that was that was 15 years ago. Gosh, that was 15 years ago. Because that was in. No, that was in yep. 2006. So that was yeah, that was 15 years ago, almost 15, 14 years ago. And I just this this feels like Bokinger again. So or at least, or at least visually, it seems like it. There's some stuff. There's some credence to that. Like I think there's definitely a bit of Bokinger in there. Uh, I'm also getting a bit of uh, Goonger, a little bit Goonger. Go under. This isn't quite as over the top as Go under. I mean, maybe it is in the in the way the characters respond to things, and the way they the way the the, air, the the actors are are behaving on camera, and the way the way the episodes are directed. That that remains to be seen. And it, although they may have it in the in the trailer, which we have pulled up the trailer trailers for the, the for the series and stuff like that. So we'll be going over those as well. Uh, yeah, it, it it might be a Goandra thing. Goandra was kind of a prototype for a lot of a lot of Sentai series to to, to come afterwards, just in how kind of sort of silly it was. Mm hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. All right. Shiny. Let's do it. Let's do this. Okay. So, the red car has been the red car thing has been dealt with. That's that's over. It has with. been debunked. 
Okay, so next up is the role play toys, which we didn't have access to at the time. We only had access to the um, the props that they were going to be using in the show, but not the toys themselves. Mm -hmm. The toys themselves popped up on December 26th, and it's all the official pictures. Um, so we're, we have the uh, the Kirame Changer, the Kirame Sword, and the Kirame Shot, um, which I have to say, I think of the three, the only one I'm really concerned about toy proportions and distortion is the Kirame Sword. The sword is going to be, mm -hmm. you know, really short as swords tend to be. So, which Super Sentai is known for that. But in terms of like the details that they have on here, I'm going to look at that Kirame sword just because it's pretty enough. Um, I really like the how how much of the interior is exposed on these things. It's not solid yeah. blue that's been painted, or that. But it's it's blue that's been molded with sparkles with within the within the plastic, and I really like that. Uh, let's see, can we change it? Can we shot the finally running out the team's weaponry is the aircraft inspired blade, the DX Karame sword. Uh, the sword is priced at forty one hundred or four thousand one hundred eighty yen, which is about a little over forty dollars. Almost $42. The Kirame Sword and the Kirame Shot can be combined to form the Kirame Buster, which delivers a powerful finishing attack. Remember, Max, it's nerf or nothing. So I really like where the uh, the Kirame Sword is going. Um, let's see, I don't know if there are any other pictures. Yeah, it's pretty cool looking. Just attaches yeah. underneath and acts as like a giant launch pad for the disc. Mm-hmm. And it looks like there's only the one button on the guard of the sword. I don't know if you can call that a guard. I don't know. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, it's a guard. There's only the one button there. You know, I wonder if... Max, you remember for uh, Kamen Rider Ryuki, mm -hmm. the, the rider belts, or whatever yes. they were called, you remember how when they would withdraw a card, it would press up on the toy. It would press up against a little button. And yeah. when you pull it out, the 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 belt or the box, the belt would make a little noise to acknowledge the card had been yeah. withdrawn. I wonder if the Karame Buster is going to do something similar. I doubt it, but I wonder if it's going to do something similar. Where, when the is it just called the Karame Gun, Karame Shot? They wouldn't use the word gun, except they do. Yeah. Um, the Karame Shot, which is the the pistol or whatever it is, it's the blaster, it's the Buster. Um, I wonder if as a disc is coming out of it. I assume they're made of nerf. I don't I don't I don't know what they're made uh, out of. if you of. look at the picture it looks like it's made out of like a foam looking thing. Kind of a kind of almost a spongy looking material. Uh, let's see, which picture would that be? Um yeah, because there's there's two pictures. It's the, it's the first one where it's like the three of them and it like highlights the individual disc with some mm -hmm. landing yeah. around it. That's difficult to tell because they've put some deliberate motion blur, photoshopped motion blur yeah. on there. So it's, I I would be honestly surprised if it was a solid ABS disc. I think I think it will be a foam disc of some kind, yeah. and then something printed on the top, or the glyphs are printed on the top. Yeah, no, no, it's absolutely foam. It's just a matter of how squishy or spongy the foam is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I still can't get over the fact that Super Sentai, their regular weapon, is going to be a disc launcher. Just, eh. Yeah, got a vehicle-themed uh, Sentai? Shoot tires at people. Why not? Because those are not tires, that's why. Or are they? Or are they? We'll just have to find out when we watch the show. Mm-hmm, yeah. Well, I mean, the show. Yeah, yeah, the show. I wonder, if the, I wonder if in the show they're going to have limited ammo of those discs. It'd be fun. Uh, have to, have to, like, Common Rider Birth had to deal with that in O's. Mm -hmm. We had very limited ammo for his uh, for his coin gun. Hmm. It was actually kind of a fun thing where it's like the holster for the gun. Uh, he basically just like dunked it into a big pile of coins and it was refilled, and then <laughs> clipped it back onto uh, the top of his gun to do the regular firing method, or. Mm -hmm. He clipped it onto the front of his gun, and underneath the holster, on like the like the top of it, uh, was like a Gatling barrel, and he fired all the coins in at once as like a giant energy blast. <laughs> it was pretty fun. There's a I just noticed on the front of the Kirame shot, right on the muzzle, 
just below where the disc comes out, there's another little white, looks like a button or something underneath there. Uh, but then when you look at the Kirame bust, is that right, the Kirame buster? Yeah, Kirame buster. When you look at the Kirame buster, the little white thing is still exposed. Yeah. I wonder if that's just a piece of plastic for decoration or if it's an actual... Oh! Oh, it might be the release trigger to separate the two the two toys from each other. Yeah, that could be. Because I don't see an obvious button on either of them, so maybe maybe that white thing is the is the release the release lock or thing. Mm-hmm. All right. And then the Kirame changer itself, um, looks fine. I mean, in proportional, it looks oh, yeah. fine. Yeah, it looks uh, great. The only thing I'm worried about is that the wrist strap is going to be too small for adults. So that has me concerned. Generally it is, but oh well. Mm-hmm. Uh, the runes are the light-up feature on it. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Which, yes, which, which previously we only had the one picture where it was, it was only red. But it turns out that the runes actually change colors, so yep. that's good. And actually, it doesn't show it in this article here, but on the official website, the official Japanese website for Kira Major, mm-hmm. uh, it shows off that the runes... Uh, change to each of the five individual colors of the Rangers instead of just red or green. They've got five LEDs inside that thing? Uh, Actually, that no, or one would, LED, they, they can shift color. Actually, they would only need three LEDs. There's there's an arrangement where it's like, depending on how bright or how dim it is, you can have three colors, blue, red, green, and then depending on how you modify those, you can get white, you can get yellow, yeah. you can get purple. The, um... Uh, was it the Gokai Saber? Yeah, the Gokai Saber did something similar where um, there were only three LEDs on the inside, but depending on which one was lit up and how bright they were at the time that they were lit up, it would it would change colors or whatever it is. So you didn't have five or six LEDs on the inside. You only had three. Mm-hmm. Um, the Diamond Select Toys uh, Star Trek The Original Series science tricorder that I reviewed for CDX, that also, if you look at the little handheld unit or whatever it is, if you looked on the inside, um, when you turn it on, again, there were only three three little micro LEDs or whatever it is on the inside. So it's it's probably something along those lines. And it looks yeah. like from the... From the picture where the where the, the the finger is coming down on top of the Kirame changer, it looks like the colors can actually alternate on this thing. So it'll be interesting to see the distribution of the LEDs because LEDs get to be expensive really quickly. Yeah, that's that's one of the reasons why the uh, the Deck Ranger Robo kind of missed out on a couple of opportunities. You had you had was it three three or five on the center of the chest. You had one on each no you had two on each shoulder and then you had two in each in each knee guard or whatever it is so i had yeah. like seven or eight there's like eight or nine leds which was really good at the time but they haven't really done it since so it'll be interesting to see how they do that and it also turns out for the cure may changer it turns out that that the black which we actually have more detail of now it turns out that the black stripe that goes around, yeah, that actually is the thing that spins around. So again, from my perspective, uh, another indication that they're hearkening back to Bokinger, especially with the Excellular. Because, you know, you put it up here, it's not up! I should yeah. have brought the Excellular, Excellular with me. So Maybe I can record that in post. Just put it right here. There you go. Ah, oh, the Excellular is still such a... It's, it, to, to this day, it is still my favorite cell phone changer. Still my favorite... It's a good one. Mm-hmm. Henshin Ketai. So yeah, not a whole lot about the Kirame Changer, but but still, there's some really useful information here. So, and 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 up to this point, as with the recording that we did three almost four weeks ago, um, no indications with the role play or even with the with the suits of a collectible gimmick of a and, and even that 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 teaser poster that that showed the just the one view of each of the of the 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 Kirame 
Mecca or whatever they are, whatever they're going to be called, um, mm -hmm. they don't seem to have any indications of a gimmick where you plug it into something or where you have to have something fit on there in order to unlock a special gimmick of some kind. It seems like a very uh, streamlined, non-medium-oriented Sentai series, which, again, I think the last time they did that was Juoger, and then the time before that was Ghost, uh, Go Buster. Every other series after Goanger has had that medium that we, you know, we've gone over, over and over and over. So the series, or at least just, just from these pictures so far, still is not looking like it has a medium that goes back and forth between the roleplay. Because the roleplay does not have anything where you actually physically plug the thing in. It would, it would be in these, these officially released pictures of the, yeah. uh, the Kira May Changer. Of the shot. It, but yeah. No, there's nothing. Yeah, there, there's, there's nothing here. Uh, which which is really good. Now, if it's a magnet that the Kirame Changer can detect, that's a different issue. If it's a if it's a belt that has little storage pockets or whatever, that's a different story. But in terms of integrating just into the role play, there's no indication that the collectible gimmick ha or the the medium has to snap onto the thing, and that will unlock a special feature. So it may just be as simple as a magnet, and then that's it how it will read the individual gems, um, I don't know at this point. Okay, so we're going to be looking at the toy pictures from uh, yeah, Tokumei Sentai Go Buster. Yeah, sure, whatever, uh, on uh, news.tokunation.com. So I haven't seen it up to this point, but I have yep. now. All right. I have words. About I like the helmet design. Yes, I, I. That's one. Of, that's one of the things I was going to point out. The helmet design is excellent. I really like the look of the head. The left arm is really tiny. Yes. Oh, what in the hell? Now you notice it. Oh, the way the the way the green car split. I was right. There was a it. joint right there. Yes, there was a joint right there. There was the split. But unfortunately, the split. Gives it like a weird hunched shoulder sort of look. Well, look at what Kyoryuji has been doing. You know, they had they had. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not gonna whatever. Uh oh, I see the pro what what why is the jet an entire weapon but not part of the what the jet is just the sword. And the helicopter is just a chest plate. I, well, I can live with that. I can live with. Yeah. I can live with a chest plate. What? Why? Oh, so the V tail splits, and the or the, the the tail on the helicopter splits in half, and then the rotor. Huh. Okay, that's that's one way of doing it. All right. Yep. So where does that arm come from? That is the hose of the um, uh, of the fire truck. Oh, okay, you're right. It's the right oh. arm. Yep. Huh. Ooh, feet design. So, so things I got, that I, I like got about it. Up. I'm, I'm, one quick thing here about the feet. I just got an echo of, um, oh, what was that? That disaster from Q Ranger, the, the final, um, the Orion Battler. Oh. I just got an echo of that in the feet, and I did not like the Orion Battler at all. So. I wouldn't. <sighs> so, so things that I like about this mech. Mm -hmm. uh, I like the shininess, the the gem facets and things like that into it. Yeah, it looks yeah. good. Uh, I really like the head design. Uh, I like the overall colors chosen. Uh, and I like the idea that's going on with it. Things that I don't like about it so much, I don't like how thick the legs are in comparison to how thin the... Uh, how thin the arms and how small the head is. Uh, I also don't like how they couldn't have hidden away the back of the green car better. And it's just like they just turn it into a 90 degree angle and then just plug it right on top. That's 
it, it definitely is an interesting way of doing shoulder armor. I will give them yes. that much. Uh, the disadvantage, of course, and, and also because of the way the, the pink rotors are folded up, uh, it's questionable whether this thing will even be able to get the arms to, out to 90 degrees forward. Yes. I'm guessing it'll only go to 45. There is an elbow joint in the excavator, but it only bends inwards, kind of kind of gorilla or monkey-like. Yeah. Um, and I also looks... don't like how small the excavator is in comparison to the yeah. uh, to the hose arm. And you see, yeah. I wouldn't have such an issue with the shoulder pad being big if the shoulder was equally big on the other side. Yep. And I, yep. it's trying to like there's a little circular bit on the excavator and a circular bit and like the tire for the sports car that are lined up with each other. Uh, oh, yeah. which yeah. looks good, but yeah. there's just a whole bunch of empty space there that the excavator doesn't fill that's filled up by just a bunch of car on the other side. Yeah. So if it had an equally big shoulder on the other end, I would like it better. But it's not. I also don't like how the jet is just a, just a sword. I just noticed that the nose of the jet extends outwards like a quarter of an inch or whatever it is. It yep. sticks out. The blue part sticks out a little. Yep. I, 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 I agree with you on the lopsided shoulders. I agree with you on the left arm is too small. God, this feels like... God, I'm going to have to do the argument for Revenge of the Fallen Megatron all over again, which mm -hmm. I thought I wouldn't have to make that argument again. But it looks here like the left arm actually is too small on the toy. And that the yeah. right arm is going to be about right. So unless this is mistransformed, which I seriously doubt, uh, yeah, that left arm is going to be really tiny. However, uh, I think I'm going to disagree with you on the thickness of the legs. That looks like a setup for... Boy, those feet are just... Excuse me. Yeah, those feet are sticking out really awkwardly. I don't like that. But um, it, it, it seems like the thickness of the legs is going to be a setup for a combined form later on that yeah. we have not yeah. seen yet. So, which, which, which is known to happen, where the legs are thicker uh, on a particular robo, and it's like, okay, yeah, you're going to be adding something to it later on. So... Uh, for the moment, until we get second wave pictures, which is going to happen months from now, um, I'm not going to protest the thickness of the legs. I'm not going to say anything about that. That That is okay for the moment. Uh, mm -hmm. But I do agree about the left arm, and I'm, I'm going to be... I'm, I'm okay with the, the kind of bulkier right shoulder. That, that's okay because it, it mixes things up so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna protest that one too loudly but I also agree I'm really surprised the blue jet is not part of the combined form if you want to take part of the blue jet off and make it um, make it the sword that's fine and they've done that plenty of times across Super Sentai where part of one of the sub mecha will separate and become part of a weapon or something like that um, again go go gyro which was the blue colored blue colored vehicle from Bokinger that separates in half it becomes a head or it becomes the helmet for Daibokin and then the pointless backpack for it so yeah uh, it, 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 it if you get rid of the backpack it's it's it's, it's kind of a useless mecha but in this case, uh, I think they're... Wow, they really... There's a lot of transformation joints in the blue jet. There's also a huge split right down the middle of the fuselage behind the cockpit. The unpainted cockpit, I should point out. Okay. Why is that not painted? Yeah, that's that's annoying. It's unpainted. Everything else is painted, but not that one. Yeah, that's annoying. I don't, I okay. Don't... There actually is a reason, I do know, of why it has these joints and why there's also that joint on the hood of the green car. I can tell you what that reason is now, because there's no pictures that show it. Or, you can wait until the trailer and figure out the reason. Hey, I just had a weird thought. What might that be? What? What if... 
what if the and and Super Sentai's never done this before, but what if the blue vehicle can swap with the pink vehicle to become new chest armor and the pink vehicle becomes a weapon? A different weapon. Maybe not a sword, but like a boomerang or a gun. Am I out of my mind for thinking that? Because it would explain that split behind the cockpit. You mm. could, if you can imagine, split the, the, the back half like this, and lo and behold, it becomes new chest armor that's split to either side of the head, just like the helicopter does. It's, it also splits apart and preserves the cockpit section. The transformation, if, if this is correct, that would be a hell of a thing. Like it, It's like a mode change. It would be cool. I don't know if it does that, and I, I don't know if I've seen any signs that would indicate that, but it could be cool. And the other thing... It's not entirely implausible. You, you know, I'm getting a... And here's the other thing. There's a joint in the middle, just behind the cockpit of the pink helicopter. Yes. I really should read the names of these things. And that joint looks like a shoulder joint of some kind. Of some kind. Like... like, like um, if, if if you picture it, and again, Max Maxilla cannot see what I'm uh, what I'm doing here. But if you take the 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 helicopter, the, the nose and the cockpit, and then turned it like this, and then attached mm -hmm. it to, or turn the nose down ninety degrees, and then attach it, you could have the um, the back half of the helicopter could be an arm. I wonder. Maybe. Gosh, I wonder if these swap back and forth like this. Let's take a look at the next picture. Maybe that'll explain it a little better. Uh, that does not explain anything. Oh, the individual vehicles, okay. Yes, we have the individual vehicles. Now, something I'd like to point out, because I found this interesting on the individual vehicles, mm -hmm. on the tires of the two wheeled vehicles and on the little circular uh, joint on the... Uh, Oh yeah, Shoveler. it's an eight-sided thing yeah. on there. Now, Ooh, I'm pretty sure since they have uh, the name Major in the name, I'm fairly certain that this confirms that these are vehicles powered by magic of some sort. Yeah, yeah, I could believe that. The the gem ideas and the uh, eight-pointed star uh, sigil on the wheels seems pretty close to it mm-hmm yeah and i'll bet you if the rotor ooh, i just noticed that um the rotor the center of rotation for the rotor on the helicopter is off center compared to where the blades are Ooh, yeah, a little bit that hurts Ooh, that's not gonna spin well even even as a toy if you try and spin that thing uh, it's gonna boom, 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 like like an unbalanced mm -hmm washing machine that's going to boom, 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 boom. it's going to that's ooh that's an issue hmm yeah it's going to be trouble but there's also a number of joints and this is the first time I've seen the vehicles in in detail like this um but I've I've noticed with the Kiramasian uh the there's a number of joints that are not being used in this combined form. Uh, like, for example, oh, yes. behind the cockpit of the jet, that's that's a very obvious one. And, um, and I, also... I, will, I will state again, I have an answer for this, but do you want to know the answer now, or do you want to wait to watch the trailer? Oh, yeah, you. Uh, there, there was another picture around uh, JE Fusion. Is that what you're talking about? No, it is no. not. It's something. It's something that's only hinted at at the trailer, or something that's only confirmed in the trailer. All right. Uh, yeah. Okay. So let's. Um, yeah. Let's go ahead and take a look at the trailer. On actually, I'll send you the link. I got the link to it on YouTube. Oh. Okay. Send that to me instead. Okay. So for the sake of um, uh, copyright infringement avoidance or whatever it is, uh, I'm going to watch the trailer live with Max. I'm going to be recording at the same time, but just because um, 
I don't. I'm, I'm not going to mess with the copyright infringement thing because I got bit by that a number of years ago, and I don't. I don't want to get hit by it again. Um, so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to be watching this, but I'm not going to be playing the audio. So Max and I are still going to be communicating. I'm still going to be recording, but in the final video that that I'm going to be editing together, you're not going to hear the audio. So you'll be seeing my reactions to thing, and we'll be talking about it after the trailer is done. Yes. So you good with that, Max? Yes. Okay. All right. All right. In three, two, one, click. Sparkly. Shiny. Kiramasia. Oh, God, they're high school students. No. No. He's an artist. What? He's the red. So red's going to be recruited later. There's no subtitles. He's a gamer. He's an esports gamer. <laughs> He's a gamer. An athlete, that's nice. Yep. And a ninja. Or, yeah, ninja Sam Uri. And a doctor. <laughs> so we have the Yodon army. Oh. I can't do anything to help people. Do what the f what the fuck you? Yeah, I don't like the way she looks. So here's why I say go on, sir. I like their outfits. Ew, what the fuck? Look at that pose! <laughs> Look at him go! There, there's your explanation. We're dealing with Shin Kenjer right here. So the vehicles have individual personalities and voices. Uh, no. They're talking. <laughs> Sounded like Burka. There we go. Wow. There's the trailer. I, I, I'm going to put this YouTube video on mute so that if we want to play it back. You know, that's what I should have done was... Well, I know. Did that have subtitles on it, by the way, Max? Mm, it has closed captions, but it's just Japanese auto-generated. No. Oh, no subtitles. Okay. All right. Huh. So, things to take away. Uh, they're high schoolers, or at least Red is a high schooler. I, who, I'd say, I, I guess I, I, wants to be an artist. I think green is a is a high schooler as well. Yeah. Uh, yellow is a major league uh, gamer who's playing Monster Hunt, <laughs> Monster Hunter, which is pretty <laughs> rad. Uh, obviously, in the veins of in the vein of uh, Diva from um, uh, what's it called Overwatch. 
She's yes. a gamer, but she's also a, a, a warrior of some kind. So. Yes, yep. <sighs> uh, green's an athlete, track Ooh. athlete. Blue's a samurai, I guess. Maybe, maybe he's an actor? Either, I don't he's know. Either, he's either a... He might be an actor. Well, I don't know. Yeah, he might be a... Uh, yeah, well, he, he wasn't covered up like the other characters. Well, let's see. We actually, I actually can't. I said I was going to mute this, so... Uh, what What is blue? What were, what were the name of the servants in Shinkinger the, for the Sheba house? Oh, jeez. It's, it's been a while. I know, I know what you're talking about, but... The, because those were a... Um, what's the word I'm thinking of? Because the, the, they actually had a double meaning. They were both... Yeah stage hands yes. and they were also servants yes. which are kind of the same thing just in different scenarios yeah so i'm wondering if like these are ninjutsu and he's just a samurai yeah that's something because those because those are clearly just ninja dressed up those aren't the those aren't the service guys so either this guy is a full-blown samurai or he's like uh, or he's a um, actor who's just like playing a bit. Mm. She's a surgeon. So what happens when the call comes up and she's got her hands in the field? That sounds like a character episode. <laughs> um, but yeah, so Red is a high schooler who's an artist and a guy who wants to be creative. Uh and that's sort of the whole point in this series, or from what I read from plot synopsis, is, is that the Yodan army uh, wants to steal uh, this, like, Kirame power that essentially all people have. Hmm. And it's like, oh, it's like it's like life force. It's like the power of creativity and things like that. It's That's what they're trying to take. And uh, those that are especially high in that power can become Kira majors. Mm-hmm. Especially red. And also, I'd like to note, and this is pretty cool, I think this is the first time in a long while that we've had a villain for a series who has, like, a human face, the the actor's face just totally visible through the costume, All, except yeah, painted I was, over. Yeah, I was just looking at that. They're, we're, they're wearing a mask, they're wearing a helmet, but yeah, from, like, the nose down, their, 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 face, is, their face and their neck are painted. Yeah. That's, that's a different way of doing that. Yep. it's kind of it's kind of like they're wearing um, a uh, some sort of a cloth or something. They're they're uh, a blindfold of some kind is is kind of yep. what it reminds me of. Now that was something they used to do a lot in older Sentai shows. It's been a while since we've seen like a like a actor's face for one of the villains. Mm. At least as far as I can tell. Who did they have for? Well, I didn't. I didn't watch Lupin v. Pat. Q Ranger. They didn't have it in Lupin v. Pat. They didn't have it in Q Ranger, as far as I remember. They didn't have it in Juoger and uh, Tokuger uh, or in Ryu Soldier. I feel like maybe they did for Q Ranger. I have to, let, me, let me pull up Q Rangers. Ah, now I got the Q Ranger theme stuck in my head again. Uh, villains, Jark Matter. Which is totally not a play on the word Dark Matter, just saying. Just saying. Don Armage, which is a great name for a villain. Yeah. Uh, Can't really see his face. Uh, yeah, not for him. Not her, not her. Yeah, I think it was. Uh, uh, those are Vice Shoguns. Major, minor, known, Daikons. Uh, yeah. Gosh, they have they have these sorted strangely for the, the for Q Rangers. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I think. So regardless, it's been it's been many years. Since yeah, it's that. been a while. Did Kyoryuger have any face actors for the villains? Uh, nope. Okay. Not as far as I remember either. 
Uh, GoBusters, I didn't see it. Well, I thought I thought GoBusters had a had a had a villain who was um. What the hell? Okay. I have no idea what I'm looking at here. Um, there's someone here called Enter, and there's someone here called Escape, but I've I've never seen GoBusters, so I don't know them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so Enter is a or Enta is a face actor. Well, no, I'm not. I'm not counting people who have like human monsters who have like human forms. I'm saying like monsters that are clearly in monster forms but still have like a human face and like makeup visible through it. So kind of half half human, half costume. Oh, yeah. Oh, that that complicates things. Um, I know it used to be more common because I can think back to like Hurricane and. A bot injure that had those sorts of things going, but um, not really Hurricane Um, because I'm I'm thinking of the Ninja Power Ranger Ninja Storm villains, and not necessarily. Do they have to have them separated like this? There's seven of these freaking characters. Maybe even Gow Rangers, because. Don't really count her. Don't really count her. You know. Oh, that reminds me, Max. I purchased, um, what was it, yesterday? Yeah, last night I purchased the DVDs, box DVD sets for both Gal Ranger and Hurricane Ranger. So I'm finally going to get to see those in their entirety. So, yeah. Excellent. I'm looking forward to getting bored with uh, Gal Ranger, and I'm looking forward to laughing my ass off for Hurricane Ranger. So. Yep. Hurricane was silly from what I remember, so some good good sense of humor there. Yeah. <sighs> and I'm still plugging my way through a bot injure. I got through episode two. God, I, I hope that sh- I hope that and this is a complete aside here, I hope that Shout Factory gets uh they get uh, they get to continue the contract because they stuck because tw- 2019 they stopped with uh, Hurricane and they haven't said anything for half a year. So I wonder if like they were only contracted to do ten series, or I guess it'd be eleven series because you have Jetman in there. But I hope they continue it. I really do. I, Hopefully. I hope they continue it. So either way, yeah. um, it's been a while since we've mm-hmm. had something like that with the villains. Uh, what else was there? Where was it? Oh, yeah, there it was. Um, the other Crescent Moon villain looks cool. Reminds me uh, of, and I I can't think of his name from Abba Danger. Um, but in the U.S., he was called Zeltrax. Yes. Black armor, black and silver armor. Similar, blue. yes. Yeah. Uh, mashing of teeth on his yeah. uh, his outfit. Crescent Moon's kind of cool. We got the grunts, which they look okay. Um, They're I not too special. I'm trying to pause on the grunts. I can't pause it in time. We got, like, these weird curly... Uh, was it spirally masks, which I think are all different in this sort of scale well, are. pattern on their chests. So they're kind of chaotic. Their faces yeah. are, are, are chaotic. Um, I think the I think the chests are... Why am I commenting on grunts? I don't care. Uh, but it seems that uh, maybe they might be like uh, pearls to contrast with gems. You've got pearls or rocks or something maybe. along those lines. Maybe that's Maybe that's what they're trying to do. Maybe. Uh, also, their weapon is a rake. Yeah. That's cool. Uh-huh. Well, maybe they're uh, supposed to be gravel. Uh-huh. What else was there? Okay, so skipping forward ahead a little bit in the trailer, we get the robot mascot helper lady, which... Ugh. I, ugh. Really like I do not like that. You know, I, I almost feel like she is supposed to be... Um, with the little, the little hair bobbles that are very much not... Oh, they're actually different from each other. The hair bobble kind of thingies are different. Mm-hmm. The tan colored things, they're different. Um, it seems like that, that and, and, and I don't know Asian fashion, so I don't know what to call this, but it, like in China. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm, you know what I'm going to say. I know, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I know what you're going, going on. Yeah. About. I think they are trying to do something similar to that. Mm-hmm. Uh, but we see all the gems jumping up and down and talking. <sighs> with the characters. So 
those it's, gems, so it is a goander. It is a goander thing. It, it is a goander thing, and those gems, those are the um, those are the mechs. Huh? Because this is this is what I was getting to earlier. If we skip ahead just a little bit, uh. Well, all right. So we get the transformation. We get the pose, which is ridiculous looking. But I hope they I don't love do it. that on a regular basis. Like, if you want to do that for one time thing, that's okay. But like, what yeah. the hell? It's pretty funny. I, I I do not think that's the regular pose. I think that's like their debut pose. It's like this is our first yeah. time in Hanshin. I think it'll be a one time thing, and that's it. Yeah. It's what pretty am I funny. Looking at here. But uh, okay, so then we get to the hangar. Those uh -huh. are all the mechs. So all the mechs. Have they're triple full, changers. They're triple changers. They ah, do the Shin Kenger thing. They do the Shin Kenger slash Juodra thing, where they all have an upright gem mode and then oh, a vehicle oh, mode. Oh, okay. So that's oh, why the car has those. That's why the car and the jet have those folds there, so that they can curl up. Oh, in yeah, I see it now. Oh, they're only jet. invisible. When you, oh, wow. They're triple changers. Yep, they're triple changers. Oh my god. Only if you look at them from the front. Yes. They look like gems. Oh, that is neat! So so it is like the origami. Yes. But again, you like can only look at them from the front. But, like I mean, the that... origami or the or the Juoger cubes with the numbers on them. Hey, I just noticed something. I just noticed something about the gems. Um... The yellow gem, or yellow vehicle, whatever it is, has circle. The yeah, yellow vehicle circle. Green, green has a kind square. of a pentagon. Yeah, pentagon looking thing. Blue. So they all have like a different shape mm -hmm. inside the gems. And also, if you look at the fire truck, it's got this fiery looking, crazy shape going on in there. So I, I think I think that's just the shiny. Whatever it is, the shiny surface they're using. To, to, yeah. to, it, it, I mean, it'll be the same thing as if, as if you, uh, if you look at the Kirame sword, mm -hmm. uh, because it's all made of transparent plastic, you can see all the interior detail of of how all the molds were put together and stuff. I think it's the same thing here. You just see the interior of it. So whatever. Yeah. Oh my gosh, they're triple changers. I don't believe it. Yep. I did not see that coming. I did not see triple changers coming, or at least not not in this way. So that's what we got going on, and then we got the vehicles all deploying, and I gotta say the vehicles look pretty good on set. You know, with I, the LEDs I wonder, in them. I wonder if it'll give uh, Ben Plex Toei an excuse to give us another LED base, LED colored base, or whatever it is, just like what they did with Tokyo. Remember, we we talked about it last time. Maybe they'll even go even further balls to the wall and just do like a special Super Sentai artisan release of Kira Majin with a bunch of LEDs in it. Just to make it as shiny as possible. Mm, I don't. I don't know how they're gonna do that. So we got all the all the mechs doing their things. Yeah, I'm going. I'm going through it right now. All the characters running around, and I gotta say, like, oh, going hey, ahead hey, from... wait a minute, wait, 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 wait! I was right. The first time you see was a Kiramajin. Yes, the, the, the first mecha? time you see Karamajan, the it's lacking the air vehicles. Yeah, the air vehicles are gone. Yep. So pink it can is do, missing and blue is missing. So it can do like an Ranger thing where it can form the robot without needing the whole team, or without yeah. needing all the mechs. Yep. And, and, and the same thing with Abareno, I should point out. Uh, it was possible, yes. I, I don't remember which episode it was, I think it happened once, maybe twice, but there was, just, just to re rehash, there was an episode of uh, Abaranger where the Abareno did not have the um, the Pteranodon or whatever it is attached. Yeah. I don't remember if it was the uh, the first time you saw it or not, but there was well, there was at least one episode where the yellow um it wasn't. It right wasn't back. the first time we saw it. It was a little bit later in the series. Yeah, yeah. Because I remember there was an early episode of Dino Thunder where they called it Seeker Mode, and for whatever reason, Yellow Ranger wasn't able to make it to the fight. And I remember the sword. They, it was the one time, uh, at least in Dino Thunder, where uh, the uh, was it called the Thunder Source. Or was it Thunder Max? Thund no, it was the Thunder Source. Thunder Source Megazord. Yeah, where the Thunder Source Megazord actually used the sword. 
or took the tails of the two dinos and put them together to form the actual sword. It usually it was just the 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 the, the drill tail or whatever it is that would use. But this was the the only time where it used the sword, and then it took the uh, the um, tricera, uh, uh, Bacardillo tricera, uh, tricera. No, that's yeah, it's tricera. Uh, yeah, tricera took that note because tricera is oh, yeah. um, is from Q Reus. Uh, um, Ryu soldier. Yes, you're right. You're right. Yeah, so it was the only time where they used the actual sword and the actual shield from uh, the the Avarino. That was the only time, at least in Dino Thunder, where they used it. And they called it Seeker Mode, where they had the shield out front and then the sword for whatever reason. It was kind of a hunting, kind of spear-throwing kind of position. That's what they were trying to do. So, wow, so so Kiramajin can do exactly the same thing. I also yes. just noticed... Oh, wait, and actually, actually something else I just noticed, the mm-hmm. two things about that. Mm-hmm. First off... Uh, the head, like the head and the toy, we see it has multiple colored stuff on its forehead. Oh, it yeah. only has red on its forehead mm-hmm. in that mm-hmm. mode, and mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. it has a mouth and nose visible. So it does an Optimus Prime sort of face mask pull up. That, that uh, I think that might be, let's see if I can get a... There's a, there's a shot where like it's punching forward and you can clearly see the mouth and nose. I was going to say that might be an angle, you know, like the angle of the camera or something like that. Oh, yeah, I see I see the, the it's at about 308 through 07. I think that just might be the blur of the camera. No, I'm, that's a mouth. That there's, yeah, I could, I paused it right there at like 309. Oh, you're right, it does, like, it does. Yeah, 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 yep. you're right, you're right, you're right. Yep. <laughs> uh, you, you are correct, it does have a mouth. Um, hmm. So that means it gets a whole different style head when it does its complete transformation with the with the air vehicles. You know, I wonder if instead of a mask being built inside of the green vehicle, it just flips up and then there's the head on the inside. I wonder if maybe the blue or yeah, the blue vehicle and the pink vehicle provide a separate helmet that 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 fits on kind of the power up like the like the O Ranger Robo, the the Zeo Megazord. I wonder if it kind of does the helmet thing. Maybe. I wonder if it does something like that. God, they're also, triple changers. I did not see that coming. That that is so out of left field. Yep. And also, I really got to compliment Toei on their uh, miniatures work as of late. Because I feel like uh, Lupin v. Pat was really lacking. Uh, but then Ryu Soldier stepped it up again and brought some good stuff. And now again, here with this... We're seeing like some really cool special effects shots with like the miniature vehicles, oh, yeah. some really fast paced stuff, as well as like just a great fight scene between a kaiju and Kiramajin looking all spectacular and glowing neon. Mm-hmm. The the other thing I, I just realized is that this entire uh, robo fight, this entire giant fight, it all takes mm-hmm. place at night. Yeah. So, just so the, I think just the, the, the debut fight's going to be at nighttime. Oh, which which yeah. oh I just realized that actually does make sense because you'd have to be able to show off the LEDs and stuff. Exactly. Because um, help me with Lupin v Pat. Uh, did because Lupin Lupin Kaiser made its debut I first. Think, I think Lupin Kaiser's debut fight was also at night. It was also also at nighttime. Yeah, yeah. But but then Pat Kaiser. But, but the Lupin Kaiser day. fight was also had a lot of CGI in it. Yeah, it had to Which, just because of the way, because of how aerobatic or ac- yeah. yeah, aerobatic it is, because it had yep. you know rocket engines and stuff. So yeah, th- that, that, that does make sense. Um, wow. Oof, those feet are. <laughs> Ooh, the feet on that thing are just. Eesh. Yeah. Yep. That's that's hard to look at. At least on the toy, it's hard to look at. But clearly, for the stunt suit, they weren't. They weren't worried about that too much. Oh! Oh, no. Yeah. And then also we got the final shot of the trailer with the full combined form with the with all the air vehicles and everything. Also, again, looking really pretty. And the helmet does look distinctively different. Yep, the helmet's got the You're face right. mask going and it has the multiple colored strips in the forehead now. Hey, I wonder if it is an actual mask that goes over... The, the kind of regular face or whatever it is. Could be. 
boy, the lighting on the stunt suit, just just that alone. I'm like, wow, there's a lot of um, it, there's I, a lot of LED in there. <laughs> there's a lot of LED in this thing. It's all over the place, which is really nice to see. Yeah. <clears throat> and it's not that they painted, um, you know, reflective material and then just shine a bunch of lights on it, but it's like it's actual built-in lighting. Mm-hmm. Whoever is inside that thing, I don't care who you are. Not, I mean, these suits are really heavy. They're, they're well... They're, I want to say they're about... They're, they're over 50 pounds. I knew that. These, these suits are way over 50 pounds, usually. Um, but whoever is in there, it's going to be even hotter than usual. I mean, they, they yeah. already got... Because usually... Because if you look at behind-the-scenes stuff for Super Sentai, um, if, if you're really lucky and you get to see the behind-the-scenes of the giant fights, um, you'll see that the, the takes are only about not even 10 seconds long or whatever it is. And the, as, as soon as the director calls cut on a shot, the first thing you see is you'll see two people run over to the, the, the stuntman and the first thing that comes off is the helmet. They always take the helmet off first and then they'll take the gloves off next or whatever it is. And so my point is, how <laughs> that lopsided his shoulder, I love it. Um, whoever, whoever is inside that suit, and by the way, um, usually whoever is Red Ranger's stuntman is also uh, the lead mecha is the, the 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 first wave robos uh, stuntman as well? They usually because they, they usually pull double duty for the stuntmen in in these shows because mm-hmm. it's it saves money. Um, but God, I feel bad for whoever's in there. It's going to get hot in there. I don't care how many LEDs are in there. It will. I'm not offended by this design, Kirame. I'm like 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 the proportions of the toy aside, which okay, yeah, that's going to be an issue. Um, but I'm. I'm not opposed to this right now. Oh yeah, yeah. On and they're, on they're paper, actually transforming too. Yeah. Well, on on paper, kind of I really like. On paper, I really like the design of yeah. Kiramajin. It's just the toy end result uh, is not the greatest thing I've ever seen. I'm not yeah. saying it's bad. There's a lot worse Sentai mechs out there, uh, <laughs> yeah. but well, uh, for the most part, not bad. Not mm-hmm. bad. There. There's stuff that I would would have changed with it. There's stuff I would have pr- done differently about it, but um, I do like it. I should point out, I'm looking at the third picture of Kiram- Kiramajian. Um, that left arm is really tiny, but here's the weird thing about it. The green car is actually bigger than the excavator, and that's, yes. that, just, oh, that doesn't feel right. Yep. Doesn't That doesn't feel right. Yep. Also, I wouldn't be bothered so much about the blue jet being a sword if the mm-hmm. wings had folded up better. The wings just sort of come upwards, so you got this big thing jutting out from it. it doesn't look Well, the I, I, I think I can see why they did that, it, it just in the way it would fold around and compact into its its respective shape. Yeah, I think to, make I can... the, to make the gem shape, yeah. I, I, I understand why mm-hmm. it did it that way, but it just... Eh. I mean, would, it, would it have killed him to put an extra joint in there to fold it up? Just a little bit better to make it look a little bit better for sword mode, and then just have the wings fully extended, non folded for. Uh, well, uh, well, for I, w- I would have done it. I, I, here's the thing: I would have done it differently. Um, I would have done it a little more Gingayo, uh, Galax Lost Galaxy Megazord. I would have done it more that way. The 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 was it the Condor, Galactabeast or whatever. It's the green one. Yeah, the green yeah. one is just it, like if you. It is just a, the the waist armor, and then there's it's a like little the bit belt. of a backpack. Yeah, but the vast majority of the the was it what was it called? Ga, ga, um, Gingalcon, mm. Ginga Galaxy Falcon, Gingalcon. Uh, with Gingalcon, the majority of the body comes off the back and then becomes the uh, I don't remember what the weapon was called, but becomes the bow gun or whatever it is, um, but then you still have the feet and the belly attached to to Gingayo, uh, which I've actually started changing my mind on since I watched that show. Um, mm. Not before, but 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 since. Um, whoa, that's a prominent joint right there. At the, if you look at the the, the, the third head-on shot of uh, Kiramajian, um, the left ankle has a rotating joint, bends the whole thing inwards, rotates the whole 
uh, ankle joint in 90 degrees or whatever it is. There's, there's a big old joint right there, I think. Yeah? Because there's a split in the right place, but it's oh, not on the right I, side. I, oh, okay, you're talking about uh, that bit that's like up near like where the cabin of the right. fire truck is? Yeah. I'm not sure if that's a joint or if that's just one of those like clips. Well, maybe, but here's the thing. The right foot, the panel lines don't match what's on the left side. Yeah. So some something's going on here. Either either it wasn't painted properly, which is possible because this is a prototype, uh, or it's it's customized compared to what the final version is. So either it wasn't painted properly, or something else is going on here. Yeah. I'm not certain. So I'm pretty sure that's just a clip, one of the standard like Super Sentai clips, you know. But what do they call those sandwich mm. clips? You just take a peg and it's just like two separate pieces, like clip on either side of it. No, that's that's what's between I the knees. Pig. Between yeah, the yeah. knees, that's that's a sandwich clip. Yeah, exactly. But, but you see how that's rounded and how the other one's rounded? Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, um, okay. Oh yeah, because the captain okay, you're right, you're right, you're right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. You're you're correct. That's not a joint. Okay. My yeah. mistake. Hmm. Yeah, that left arm is really tiny. That that yeah. that bugs me. I wonder uh, it'll be interesting to see what if the Karamazian can function without the helicopter in place, I wonder what their justification is for um, uh, having the helicopter and the jet attached. Hmm. Huh. That's a heavy sword that guy's got to lug around. And that's it in is. addition to having something attached well, to it. Well, I guess it makes sense that it would be like the bigger arm would get the heavier sword, I guess. But Well, I'm just... Yeah, but I'm talking in terms of the poor guy in that suit. That sword is really yeah. big. It's heavy. And it's got and all the LEDs in there. Yeah, and it's got electronics in it. And it has to be, you know, kind of a heavy foam so that you can actually swing the thing around. Yeah. Hmm. Pretty crazy. Poor guy. So now I think let's move on to the JE Fusion article because we've basically seen everything, but there's just like a couple little things that the JE Fusion article has that the uh, Toku was it Toku Nation article does not have. There was a uh, okay. We'll go over the the Henshin sequence and the opening and the themes. We'll go after that after uh, JE Fusion. Okay, so let's take a look at the JE Fusion. Oh, we got a little more on the the individual vehicles. Yes, that that's the main thing. Just mm -hmm. a little more on the individual vehicles. Wow, yeah, I I didn't know that the ladder extended. That's that's rare. That's that's unusual. Yep, the ladder extends. <gasps> what? 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 It has hip joints. Hip joints that go forward. Maybe? It has hip joints that go forward. Because how else would the arm of the truck move back and forth? How would it move up and down? That's not a shoulder joint. Yeah. Those are hip yeah, joints. So. Yeah. Dude. Hip joints. Confirm it. We got, we got hip joints with no knees. But we do have... Ankle joints, because the toe has to point down, the foot has to point down in order to form the cab. Hip joints and ankle joints confirmed. Now, whether they can ratchet or not doesn't really matter. The point is, they are there. It gives you options. So you actually be yes. able to slide one, one leg forward and have the, the toe pointing down. Yes. Okay. Uh, uh, all right. Oh, wow. The whole... Huh. And also, we should like to go over the individual names. The fire truck is Mushin Fire. Uh, the plane is Mushin Jetter. Uh, the car is Mushin Mac. Uh, or Mach. Uh, Mach. The, the Earth Mover is Mushin Shovelo. <laughs> Shovelo? Shovelo. And the oh. helicopter is Mushin Helicop. Helicop. Yeah, the rotation point for mm, that hurts. Although it, it it is a dilemma. This is certainly not the first helicopter to have to deal with that kind of 
transformation. Oh, hey, 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 hey! Right underneath the um, the helicopter's rotor. Yeah, a I did bit see of, that. Yeah, there's a little something sitting right there. I wonder if that's the alternate helmet that I was telling you about but earlier. But the thing is, is that that's blue, and the alternate helmet is red, all on top. Well, that's not a random thing. That's a deliberate detail sitting in there. Yeah. And that is an... Un- well, no, actually, it's not as unexplained as I thought it was, because it's the... Uh, hmm. Hey, Max, wait a minute. Max? Yeah? That helicopter, the tail boom? Yeah? Those black things on the back end? Those are hands. Those are Those are hands. Are those hands? I think those are hands. Which means yeah. that thing right under the rotor is a little mini head, little mini face. Another helmet, potentially. Huh. Those are hands, because because those are thumbs that are sticking outwards. So, like, yeah. Um, yeah. Those, are, those are fists on the back end of the, of the helicopter. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that the other four are going to have this as well, but... Fight me on that. I'm not kidding. Fight me on this. I think those are hands. Yeah, I'm not sure what else that would be. They do kind of look like hands. Which then makes me wonder, if it has a head and it has hands, does this thing have a separate robot mode? Or does it form an arm and have, like, a spare helmet? Well, that's like what I was expecting. Wondering. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. If, if, if maybe... Because... Because there is another unused joint on the back of, what'd you call? What was the but, car called? Uh, what was it? It was uh, it was machine mock. Machine mock. Mm. Well, I think those is... joints are used just to make the gem form. Yeah, maybe. So. Oh, that's right. Yeah, because remember, I men- I mentioned that they were doing this kind of motion. The joints seem to be doing this. So that okay. All right. All right. Okay. Mm. Yeah, so that's about all that's new. Now we're all up to date. Why would they put little mini vehicle? You know, I wonder if uh, we were talking about the uh, the assistant, uh, whatever her name is for the. Oh, don't tell me I closed the video. No, I didn't. I've got it there. Uh, we were talking about the assistant to the Rangers, or one of the two. Yeah. Uh, I read something along the lines of like she's an alien. I think she comes from another world, and that's why she looks like that. Ooh, I wow. wonder. I wonder if maybe she came in on the the pink vehicle, and that it just maybe. so happens. You know, maybe she came in on that vehicle. I don't. I don't like. I don't like her design. No, okay. no not a fan. And then he, that that guy, whoever he is, uh, he's wearing a uh, a virtual reality helmet for some reason. So. Yep. Wait, what the f- <laughs> Hey, Max. Yeah? <laughs> at 1 minute 43 seconds, when the guy is pointing pointing at the camera, he's looking at the camera, and you can see the logo in the background, what is that word in the background behind the, the, the titles? What does that say? <laughs> uh... Carrot? It says carrot. <laughs> oh well, yeah. It's like it's like it's like a gem carrot. Yep. 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 <laughs> Good detail. I like it. So their organization is going to be called Carrot. Yep. Okay. And it has car in the name because it's vehicles. <laughs> and it has rot because they're rioting. Mm. 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 They're rioting against the Yodon army. That's the team. That's the stuff. Triple changing America. Okay. They're triple changers. Okay. So here's the question. And this is the thing that pissed me off to no end about Shinkinger's origami line. This is the thing. Okay. Yeah. They had triple changers for... uh, Crap, what was it called? Shinken O. You had the badge mode or the symbol mode, you had the animal mode, and then you had the combined form. That was a really neat thing, and I really liked it because the badge the the, the emblem mode, they called it badge mode in in, in Samurai Super Sentai, but the, the the emblem mode 
uh, was the word was was the symbol or whatever it is for uh, the individual. You know, it was fire, wood, and metal, and whatever the the other the other two were. Um, but that's not what I'm on about. What I'm on about is the fact that they were triple changers for the opening mecha, the the, the first wave mecha, which is uh, Kira Majin. Yeah, right. Uh, um, Shinkeno, and then that was immediately dropped in favor of. Um, uh, the the other origami the, the the spinning the hidden disc gimmick that was built into all of them and so you had no triple cha- you had no they didn't even need, well yeah I mean because because they they didn't have a symbol mode an animal mode and then an accessory mode they never used that ever again here we are yeah. nine years later it's exactly the same scenario. The first wave mecha is a triple changer that has a shape. Whether shapes or not, it doesn't matter. Or, or whether they're gems or whatever. That does not matter. My point is, here we are nine years later. By the way, Max, it's been nine years since Shin- Shinkenger. It's been 11 uh, years since Shinkenger. Oh, it was 2009. Yeah, it's been 11 years. <laughs> it's 2020. Oh. Do the math. Nine oh, plus yeah. 11. Yeah, I guess it would be 11 years. Yep. No? Yes. If it had been 9 years, it would be 2018. No, if it had been... Oh, yeah, I guess it would be 11 years. Hmm. Okay, so it's, it's, been, it's been 11 years. All right. So here it is, 11 years later, and we have a first wave robo that, that's a triple changer, and they're, they're specifically using shapes, you know, the gem mode or whatever it is. Mm-hmm. It's 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 going to drive me absolutely insane if they throw away this gimmick again with the accessory vehicles. It's it's going to drive me crazy because here it is, eleven years later, and they now have the opportunity to do it correctly this time, to actually yeah. carry on with the triple changing mecha, and we do not have the burden of a gimmick. We don't have the burden of uh, of a medium. That's the thing we've been saying. And even looking at these designs, there's no lo- there's no lights on the inside except the, maybe the fire truck that might have electronics in it. I can't tell. It's too early. Um, well, it might it might have electronics in the chest, maybe, maybe. Uh, but anywhere else, no, it's not going to be. But but uh, have you heard anything about whether or not these are going to be? Is the is the Kiramajin is uh, Jin Jin Zin is that going to be a is this an electronic toy? I haven't heard anything because I don't see a price tag anywhere on here. Uh, was there? There was a price tag for the for the roleplay toys. Yeah, there's yeah. no price tag for the <clears throat> for the Majin yet. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Oh, I know. There there is a price tag. It'll be seventy two hundred yen. There's electronics in this thing. I bet you the I bet you the, the the chest. I bet you the chest has electronics in it. Could be. Because triple changing because because whatever whatever triple changing is, uh, that might boost the price up just because they're 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 three modes per per vehicle or per mecha. But in terms of oh wait. Those, I just I just got distracted. I'm sorry, but it, it which is entirely possible. Um, there is a lot of you know semi-transparent. Oh, hey, I just noticed that. The uh, the fire truck actually compared to the other four vehicles, the fire truck actually doesn't have all that much uh, transparent plastic on it. That's nope. curious. There's not as much. Well, it's got it's got transparent stuff it, it, on it, the inside of the legs. It kind of looks like it. It's got the several gem spots. It's got the tires. It's got the several gem facets on the outside of the legs. But but if we go back to that triple changer look, the whole bottom of that fire truck's transparent. Um, because it's got that big tall gem mode, so that has to be the bottom of the fire truck. Okay, maybe the bottom of the fire truck. Well, well that's cheating then, because it's not on the front and it's not on the sides. It's kind of my point. It's it's hidden away. Yeah. 
boy, that the way the oh, also the whole top of the fire trucks, um, the whole top of the cabin for the fire truck is also translucent. Yeah. Plastic. Okay. Okay. Maybe I was wrong about that. I don't know so much about the grill, oh. but hmm. Okay, maybe maybe there's more here than. Uh... What a bizarre. Ro- well, no, it's not bizarre. It's it's unconventional. I never would have suspected just having the the right shoulder having this huge clump of armor. I would never have expected that. Yeah, it's something I'm gonna need to get used to. Mm-hmm. That's my biggest problem with this whole design. Also, I'd like to take a very brief moment to say, no limb swap. Yay. No, there, there's still an opportunity for it. I, I think there's still an opportunity for it. Not, not that I'm encouraging it, but I don't see how it couldn't be limb swap. I think there's going to be accessory vehicles, and I think there is going to be limb swap. I mean, it... it, it here, let me look at Kiermajian. Yeah, because the right shoulder armor would make you think that, you know, you can't swap arms or whatever it is. It might be a swap of weapons. You could do that. Um, it's hard to tell. I'm swap gonna... of weapons and chest armor, maybe? Who knows? Yeah, I mean, it's not like they haven't done that before. I'm looking at you, uh, Ninja. Um, but I'll take weapon slash armor swap over limb swap again. Yeah, yeah, I can I can live with that. It depends on how they um, distribute their, shall I say, elemental powers or their unique capabilities. Because, like, each ranger in each vehicle brings something different to the fold, so the question becomes... Is is that inhabited by the uh, by the vehicles as well? Because mm-hmm. like blue represents lightning and pink represents whatever and yellow represents whatever. Um, so if you take that off, then what would the accessory vehicle have to offer? Mm. Very very unconventional. And I'm not whining about a lack of transformation. They're like like Super Sentai Robo sub components, they are known for the lack of transformation. I'm not seeing that here. This is legitimate super vehicle transformations. And I'd even go so far as to say that Lupin V Pat, their mecha line, did not have complicated transformations. It was just plug in and then one thing or two things fold out and that's it. But these these are actual, actual transformations. And uh, I'm I'm encouraged by this. Yes. Let's see those fold up. So how? Do... Oh come on! It's not that late. Come on, you don't need to be yawning right now. Um. Okay. Is there anything else? I don't think there. Um. Okay. Quick question: Should we go over the Henshin sequence opening and ending theme songs revealed? Uh. Did they actually have that? Uh, Toku Nation has it. I'll send it to you. Ooh, let me see. Oh, okay. Uh, I haven't seen that, though, so I don't know. Uh, it looks like the henching sequence is just like a stage show Yeah, we knew this. Yeah, which is the same thing they did with the, um... What's it called? It's the same thing they did with um, um, Ryu Soldier, which they usually yeah. do these stage performances because because this is a um, this is a press video. Mm-hmm. Tita, Tita, Tita. Well, all right. Let's see what the opening and closing sequences are or songs. Uh, okay, so yeah, just a stage performance. Yeah, but still, I'd like to be able to hear them. Yeah, give it a shot. So, Kira May's intro song, Machine Sentai Kira Major, is performed by such and such person who previously provided the, the, the theme songs for Neninja and Druoger. Hmm. Which Druoger theme's a banger. Mm hmm. So. Yeah, yeah. And the end song is performed by somebody I don't know. All right, in three, two, 
one click. I do like those costumes. Yeah, nice costumes. Don't like that costume. Yeah, not that one. Why is she wearing a ranger on her thing? What's she doing? Is that the singer? Yeah. Yeah. The ninja had a nice opening. Yep. Yeah. It's a shame about the rest, all the rest of it. <laughs> yeah. I hope they're not just going to talk about it the whole time. There you go. He's out of breath. <laughs> A little bit. Hmm. I feel like I've heard that before. Mm hmm. Sounds like a pretty generic Sentai opening. Yeah, yeah. What is he wearing? Fashion Ava. You have to run out on stage, you have to give a speech, and then you have to sing. Please don't trip. <laughs> trip. Trip. Ah, why? Yeah. Biggest fan of live performances, but it does the job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So overall, they're 
Yeah, they're all right. Opening and ending themes. There's nothing too special sounding about them. Maybe it'll be better paired with the visuals when the series actually comes out. Mm-hmm. Oh no! The what? One of the what's this on? This is on Token Nation. I'm looking at some of the comments on the the the, the songs. And so, uh, uh, that Mac the best since. God, it's been the best in decades, honestly. I think this is a genuinely my favorite Sentai Mecha ever. Okay. Rather unique to have the Red Zord usually forms either the head, the torso, or both. Yeah. Uh, not the greatest Mecha, not the worst. The chest piece is oversized, and I'm worried about how it looks as a, as a toy. Yeah, yeah. So, the, so they're all just reacting to the footage of like, oh, now we actually get to see what it, what it looks like and before the oh, reaction yeah. got the toy images. Kira May Blue was a stunt actor. Oh God, please don't make him Dax from Power Rangers Operation Overdrive. Yeah, I'm not gonna quote that meme. Oh, so that's what he is as a person. He's a stunt actor. He's not a he's not a samurai. Hmm. Okay. Oh. And there's nothing new so far. So. Nope. Okay. I'm getting hungry and you're getting tired, so... Yep. I'm also getting hungry. I didn't have dinner. You didn't have dinner? Nope. Not yet. Is that minimized? I don't know why it's... And I will go get it right after this. I like where this is going. This seems like a return to form. I mean, it, it's got... With, with, the, the, with the sole exception of leaving open the possibility for limb swap, which I am leaving that possibility open. With that sole exception, this feels like a return to uh, God. It feels like actual transformations and an actual like pre-medium. I don't see a medium anywhere. Uh, the Kirame stones, that remains to be seen because there is an actual button on the Kirame changer. We don't know that function yet. Um, but I'm I'm sold. I like yeah. I like the role play and I like the mecha. I can't remember the last time where I jumped on on the bandwagon for both of those. Jumping on the like where I'm enjoying eh, the blaster is kind of weird. Um, where I'm enjoying both the role play, all of the role play, and all of the 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 robo so far. Yeah, I've got some issues with the proportions, but for the most part, I'm sold. I mean, yeah. if you look if you look at uh, uh, Daiboken, or at least the DX version, the arms were really tiny and the head was really small. That was, you know, that was a bit of an issue. If you look mm-hmm. at um, uh, Lupin Kaiser and Pat Kaiser, the faces were really, really tiny, but everything else was was proportionate. It was really good. Um, <clears throat> so it's not like um, um, RV Robo, uh, the the Turbo Megazord had really, really small arms and had a, a small head, but the the legs were really chunky and they were really long. Um, mm-hmm. <clears throat> so the proportions of the toys of the robos are usually, you know, th- those come and go. So whatever. I mean, it's, it's just part and parcel of how Super Sentai works. So, like, I may not like that the left arm is a lot smaller, and I may not be thrilled with having uh, a mecha be just the torso, or, or, or uh, no, I'm sorry, a mecha being just the just a weapon. Uh, but on the other hand, like I said, Gengalkin's done that before, so there there has been a bit of a precedence before. Um, I do wonder if maybe uh, the, the the blue jet or the was it mock mock machine jetter. Um, I wonder if machine jetter will form like a backpack of some kind when it's not in use, because like you know any good Japanese robo will have its sword stored on its backpack. So I'm wondering if maybe it'll become a backpack of some kind, just just to sit there. Um, so like like it, I I I don't like uh, mecha components that just form a backpack or just kind of you know pushed out of the way and you don't think about. It. I don't like that. That was yeah. The, the, and, and, and Super Sentai has done that more than once, and I'm not entirely thrilled with it. So I'm guessing at this point that the jet will attach to the back. Not necessarily to become a backpack, but just for weapon storage, I think it'll go on the back. Because if you think about the truck, the, the fire truck, it's going to be pretty flat on the backside. Because that's the underside of the truck yeah. that's going to be standing up. So I'm guessing like there'll be an extra peg or a tab or something. You'll be able to stick the, the thing back there. The, we haven't seen the back of them, but I'm guessing that's what's going to be happening here. Probably. So, um, but or or on the other, 
but the fact that they're triple changers, I'm encouraged by this. They're going to look kind of goofy. They're not going to be as clean, obviously, in toy form as they are on the show for the props or whatever. But I can live with what, what's happening here right now. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pleased with what's going on. It's pretty cool. And this is, I like it. Yeah, I'm, I'm sold. I'm hooked. I'm in. I'm yeah. in. I'm, I'm, I'm in all the way. Uh, I can't remember the last time I said that about a Super Sentai where the mecha were impressive, like, oh, yeah, I want to get in on this, and also the role play. Because role play, I'm kind of hit and miss. Like, I don't care much about the the, the role play. But in this case, yeah, I'm all for the, the role play. I'm I'm impressed. I'm, I like what I'm seeing. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I'm on board with this. Absolutely right. I'm on board with this. <clears throat> Kira Major is a win. Kira Major is a win. The first it's way. It's a like major win. <laughs> oh, sorry. I need to eat. I missed that. Um, I'm I'm in. I'm in. Uh, one quick thing. I know. I know uh, about the uh, the helicopter. The yes. black things I was talking to you about earlier. I wonder if maybe those are clip-on points for when the the helicopter blades have to like tab in in order to hold them in position or something like that. That could be too, but they did look a lot like fists. They look a lot like fists. I guess we'll just have to wait and see what that means. Mm-hmm. Yeah, watch, watch, uh, watch the heli- watch the helicopter because I think there, there's something happening there. Mm-hmm. There's an extra thing happening there. Final, uh, anything, Mr. Max? No, no. I think that about summarizes it. It's interesting. I'm gonna need to get used to the giant shoulder pad that's something i'm was that's not something i'm a big fan of but i'm over it. otherwise I'm um i like this stuff i don't know if i'll go out of my way to get the toys but i'll definitely check out the show when it airs and i'll and we'll see what happens mm-hmm. yep all right if i stick with it so max in 1954 thank you very much yes. for coming along on the ride again i really appreciate it yes yes you're welcome and this is av unit 4a saying Thank you for tuning in.